Hi, I'm Judy Lee, L-E-A, that's L-E-A. Um, I just wanted to say hi to everybody out there and uh, let you know that I'm thinking of you. I'm thinking of all of us in this crazy wild time. Um, and I was asked to do a little video for you about myself as an author, a performer, a songwriter, a poet. Uh, I started writing poetry when I was, um, I don't know, I think my first song uh, that I wrote with my cousin was when I was nine. It was a very, uh, very hip song. <laughs> and I've been a songwriter ever since. And I started writing poetry in my early teens, I think. Um, I had some pretty sad things going on in my life and one of the ways that helped me deal with it was writing poetry. Um, so if I had some advice for, for people out there, I would say get a journal, write down your thoughts. It helps to get it out of your body and it also is really interesting to go back and read it and go, oh yeah, that's what I was thinking back then, I was so smart then. And sometimes you'll still notice that you're still really smart. Anyway, I wanted to um, read this book to you. This is a book that I wrote. Actually, I wrote the poetry for it, the spoken word part, a long time ago when my kids were little and um, we had some kittens. And the kittens, uh, one in particular, just loved jumping in the dryer. So this book is called Please Don't Go in the Dryer. It's written by me, and it's illustrated by Anita Ho. This book is dedicated to my kids, Isaac and Aaron, and my grandkids, Dylan and Clementine. Thanks for being your most wonderful selves. I have a little kitten. He's the cutest little thing, but he doesn't really listen, and he gets into everything. And when I do the laundry, I have to keep him out because he jumps right in the dryer. And then I have to shout, please don't go in the dryer. I worry that you won't get out. The door might get closed and you'd be all alone. You'd have to stay on until laundry day comes again. That might not be until Monday or Tuesday. Wednesday or Thursday or maybe the weekend. So please don't go in because of my poor, poor little kitty stuck in the dryer. No animals were harmed in the making of this book, by the way. Please don't go in the dryer. Here's something that worries me more. You know how sometimes when you're washing your socks and you're finished the laundry, one sock just gets lost? Mm -hmm. Well, I think there's a tube that goes down through the earth and it ends up in Hades or somewhere that's worse. And a monster lives there and she sucks up the socks and uses them for nose rags or weird dental floss and if you're in the dryer you might be mistaken for socks and get taken so please don't go in please don't go in the dryer here's something that worries me most someone might not see you they'd throw in the clothes you'd go round and round and bump your little nose You'd yowl and you'd meow and we wouldn't hear you at all. And when you got out, you'd stagger and fall and you'd be such a puffball with sticking out hair. You'd get a shock when you saw us and you'd faint right then and there. Oh. These things might just happen. They could happen. Yes way. So please don't go in the dream. Uh, I have this.
this funny feeling the cat is not actually going to listen. Cats are really not very good at that. This is me. And this is the lovely and talented Anita Ho, who did all those amazing illustrations. It took us a while to find each other, but I'm so glad that I did. Um, and I'm also a songwriter. I have songs that I put on a CD way back. This book is, the words of the book are on a CD called, please, no, what's it called? Oops, too much work to do. It's in the Burnaby Public Library. This book is also in the Burnaby Public Library and in a few schools around in Burnaby, hopefully soon more. And um, I also have a YouTube channel, Judy Lee, L-E-A, where I have this book. And I have uh, three other songs that I've created videos for. And I'm gonna be working on that. I'm currently teaching uh, online, which is like, uh, weird very weird and very time-consuming so when that's over and I'm going back to being semi-retired I will have more time for books and other creative endeavors right now I'm using my creative time to make more poems for the kids to read in my class uh, I've wrote a poem for Earth Day I wrote a poem for Mother's Day I wrote a poem for the letter A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, and L. And this will continue. <laughs> so um, I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all safe and relatively sane and happy. And uh, maybe I'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.